a document that made some noise within the mainstream in 2013 due to the fact that it's been viewed more than one million times and is, according to the FBI, their most viewed document, reads as follows. Quote. An investigator from the Air Force stated that three so-called flying saucers had been recovered in New Mexico. They were described as being circular in shape with raised centers, approximately 50 feet in diameter. Each one was occupied by three bodies of human shape but only three feet tall, dressed in metallic cloth of a very fine texture. Each body was bandaged in a manner similar to the blackout suits used by speed flyers and test pilots. According to Mr. Redacted, informant, the saucers were found in New Mexico due to the fact that the government has a very high-powered radar set up in that area and it is believed the radar interferes with the controlling mechanisms of the saucers. Unquote. It was written by Guy Hoddle, who was the head of the FBI's field office in Washington at the time, and addressed to FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover. Many believe that the memo is based on a hoax that was carried out by a convicted con man named Silas Newton. Who really knows? At the end of the day one thing is certain, we know that these objects are here, they're real and that this is happening now. Christopher Mellon, a former Deputy Assistant Defense Secretary for Intelligence from 1997 to 2002. Manuel Kirkland and other veterans have also hinted to the idea that some of these objects have been brought down because of radar. The document is from the 1950s a time when UFOs were quite popular within the mainstream due to the fact that an explosion of sightings were observed and documented after the United States dropped the atomic bomb. There was so much public interest that that President Truman held a press conference during this time and stated that they talk about the subject of UFOs at every conference that they've had with the military. Going on to state that there's always things like that going on, flying saucers and they've had other things you know. This was also around the time, 1952, when several unknown objects flew over the White House. Jets were scrambled and as they approached the vicinity of the objects, they, the objects, accelerated at a tremendous pace and vanished. If all of this was going on 70 years ago, what has been discovered today? To me, crashed craft represents a loss of life. It's not something to be happy about. In fact, these events in my opinion are quite sad.